I wanted to record my uh, continued experience with Budsies. For people who don't know, Budsies are is a company that makes plushies from art that you give them. So they originally were made for uh, bringing children's drawings to life. So if your kid is a super artist and they keep making this one drawing of their imaginary friend and they want to have that imaginary friend with them forever, you send them the picture that the kid draw and the kid draw the kid drew and they make it into a plushie and the plushies are amazing. Like, they're amazing quality. I have heard that they have amazing quality and that it does take a while for the plushie to arrive and for them to actually, like, you know, send you information or whatever. And I ordered it um, on the, I have the, on June fifth so this was eight days ago that I ordered originally and I got the confirmation of the order the exact same day I paid for the sneak peek because on the website it said that the sneak peek lets you see images in progress and then you get one change sometime during that time I guess if they like make choose a wrong color you can change it if the pattern is not satisfactory you can change it you know that's what I thought that's what I understood when it said work uh, that was my computer when it said work you get to see work in progress okay the one I bought was the $89 fursonas and furry art one that's the one that that I chose if it would load ever okay that's the one I chose so they know that furries are buying this so they made a special car category for us and it's eighty nine dollars to buy the the slot or or whatever and to, to send in your pattern not your pattern send in the character uh, the character I send in is this one like my fursona, I sent in her and I made a plush version of her because I had heard from a lot of furries that who sent just a regular old ref sheet that they did not get a satisfactory plush because it's like if you just send a single image, they're just going to draw, they're just going to make it like as close to the art as they can. I know daddy's gone and and that doesn't always make a satisfactory plush and so I made a plush version um, and I paid the $29 extra for the sneak peek and it says here it's a get a preview photo of your budsy in progress includes round of changes based on your feedback so and it says recommended recommended for illustrators, furries, or others who can have an exact 3D character in mind. May extend pro, uh, production time. And I was like, that's fine, you know, if it takes longer, but I get to you know, like see and make a change, you know, that's that's fine. I'll pay for that. And so I paid for it. It came out to a hundred and a hundred and. $27.95. So that's the 98 for the plush. That's 29 for the for the sneak peek and then shipping. So that's the price I ended up with and I thought if it's awesome and the experience is great, I'm going to recommend that they do it the way that I did it because, you know, because and so I sent in the information and I wrote a really long description. I sent them picture, I linked pictures and told them basically how I wanted her to look. And I waited. And then six days later, they approved my design and said that they were going to start working on it. They sent this email at around midnight my time. It does not say the, oh yeah, there it is. 
Or at least I saw it at midnight my time. It says that it was sent at 6, but... And then they sent... Oops. They sent, they sent the order update. And then they sent a couple of email, automatic emails saying um, your plushie is being... The designs are being made and... The pattern is being made and the... Uh, the fabrics are being chosen and I sent an email to them asking if I can see the fabrics before before I before they actually start sewing it you know because it would make sense to be able to see the plus see the fabrics that they're choosing so that they don't have to make the plushie and then have to get like un destroy it after it's already been machine sewn and whatever. But no, they told me that um, at this time we do not provide mock-ups or previews. We have launched a new sneak peek, sneak peek upgrade for when you place an order to choose that upgrade. And I was like, do you not have my order open? Like, do you not know what I ordered? Because I paid for the upgrade and I told the the... I sent another email saying I did pay for the sneak peek upgrade and they told me once the Budsy is finished production you will receive the sneak peek and we do not have previews available for fabrics and I'm like how is that more like economically sound to completely waste fabric if you do it if you choose the wrong color after you've already made a plushie of it like I don't, if they make her cream instead of yellow, they just wasted a whole bunch of cream fabric that could have gone to somebody else that needs the cream fabric. So, like, I don't understand why they wouldn't show you the fabric. I mean, the fabric is one of the most important parts of the plushie, that the colors are correct. And I asked, uh, wouldn't it be easier if to for the designers to take to not take a finished plush apart if the color is wrong as even swatches would help and they said that that they try to get as close to the color that you sent in the image and that she is currently in the design stage basically that once your budsy is finished that is when you get to see it and ask for one change but what if you get it all wrong what if it's all wrong because you didn't send me any information beforehand and the the updates that you pay for are automatically generated updates you don't get a person telling you that they're doing this or that they're choosing a fabric is this fabric a good color I mean I understand I kind of I want to understand why they did this because it saves time it saves personnel but if at the end I say she's completely wrong you chose all the wrong colors do they are they going to tell me you can only choose one color to change or would I or would me saying you completely got it wrong is that one change? I mean, she's got a lot of details, and if they get more than one detail wrong, like, I guess it's one session of change, maybe, but they weren't, she wasn't clear. The information on the website says that I'm going to get in-progress photos, that I'm going to get information as it's being made, and the representative said that I don't get to see it or see how it how it is until it's done and I just think that's just a waste of of product of fabric of thread of time that could have been spent making sure that they didn't get it wrong in the first place like that's where I am right now because I just got this information today like I just had this six mess six email conversation with her 
And at the end, it was just like, you know, this is what it means when they say in progress. It means at the end of progress. So right now, there's no way that I'm ever going to recommend getting in progress photos. Getting, uh, paying for that sneak peek. That sneak peek is not a sneak peek. You get a picture of the finished plush so that you can change something they got wrong. Which I guess is good if you already, like... But that's the same as if when you get it and you know it's wrong and you send them an email saying it's wrong, you got all of this wrong, and then they make you another one, basically. Like, I don't, I just, I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, she's, she's a very important character. And she doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, but I at least want her to be the right colors. And, I mean, the, the pattern, the, the, the ref sheet that I made is really easy. And if they somehow get that wrong, I'm going to be really upset. But it's still, it doesn't make sense that they would not show me the fabric. So that they wouldn't have to cut so much and waste so much fabric. I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing or maybe I'm just too used to how I work as an artist where I would rather not edit a finished image when I get a color wrong than changing the color at a stage where it's easier to change. I don't know, it just, it really, like, it really bothered me when they said that I'm not gonna get a picture of anything until after it's done. I don't know if I'm going to change my opinion once it actually, once I actually get the picture, whenever it happens, it, it um, estimates from, uh, testimonials from others have said that it could take up to a couple of months, uh, it's a couple of weeks, I don't know, um, I'm going to send a couple of messages to some, uh, YouTubers that I saw that, well, one in particular who actually, uh, paid for the sneak peek, and I'm gonna ask if it was the exact same process with them, and if it wasn't, I am going to send another email, because they have to treat everybody the same, and, um, you know, work in progress. And after production is finished are completely different things. And the representative is saying that they're the same. And I don't know. They either have to clarify on their website that you don't get to see anything until the product is finished. Or they have to actually show you works in, in progress. I'm going to be updating as I, as this goes on. Um, so far the order updates that I've gotten are just these random emails that are like, hey, you got an update and we're doing this. And right now my Budsy is in design. I mean, I can see her status on the website. So if that's the only thing that I'm getting, then why the hell did I pay for the sneak peek if I can see it with an account on the website? Like, you get an account and you get this, uh, like, table that says order number, date ordered, where it's going to be shipped, the, the amount that you paid, and then status. And if the status is the exact same as the emails I'm getting, then why did I pay so much money, so much extra money for what I could just look at on the status? I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's only been a week. And I decided to start, uh, well, finally record some updates about the Budsy stuff. Uh, even though all of this is gonna go into the same video, um, it's uh, it's been a couple of weeks since the last email. Um, I finally got the sneak peek email, and I'm really liking the way she looks. 
she's almost perfect they got a couple of details wrong but I think that's partly my fault so it's something that I have to adjust if I do decide to sell these rough sheets um, her eye they made her eyebrows red instead of pink so that means that it would either it would have to be clarified because it's such a, a tiny detail it's, it's really hard to see so I understand um, but I asked them to make them pink and her ears were too small so I asked them to make those bigger the other thing that bothered me was the way her arms looked I would like them to be smaller but you're only allowed one big change and so I asked for her ears because her ears are a lot more important to me than than what her arms look like um, I finally told my husband that I bought her and I showed him the picture he didn't like what she looked like but he doesn't like like he and I have really different tastes when it comes to toys stuffed animals and and fabrics and clothes and what he likes is a lot different than what than what I like and like it's understandable that it's not going to look exactly like the the picture because they can't and I can't see my dog they can't make it 100% look like the picture because that's not realistic there you are what are you doing what you doing and so I um, I got the sneak peek I asked for the changes and I haven't gotten any updates since then I don't know if she's been shipped the last email I got was like the day like a couple of days after I sent the initial emails of the of the um, of the clarifications and the and it said that she was in the process of being um, like what was it you know when when they have to ch quality control she was going to quality control and that she would be shipped soon and I have no idea if she's been shipped yet I have no idea if she's still in quality control I don't know um, but you know, I was hoping for another picture to see if the ears were fine, but it makes sense that they wouldn't send me another one because you only get one change and you can't be saying, you know, it's still wrong. But I sent them a picture with the red line to more or less where I would like the ears, and let's just hope that they do that well and that she doesn't look too ridiculous. Um, you know, I like... I like her with her big ears. Her big ears are really important. To me, at least. Uh, so, I haven't gotten any updates. I haven't gotten any information. I haven't checked the website today. I want to check in a little while. Um, probably, I just have to wait, I guess. I mean, it's it's... A waiting game but I mean she did get finished a lot faster than I thought she was going to it's been a little under a month and I already got the sneak peek and if I had accepted it she probably would have been here by now but I mean it's so much faster than I originally was led to believe people were saying it took five months six months a year and I'm just like is am I in the slow season which is why they were able to work on her so fast or was somebody really passionate about the project I don't know but I, I'm very happy with the speed that it's getting done and a little, a little worried because you know it's a little fast but I, I, I like the way she looks her colors are perfect uh, but but you know uh, maybe it's a picture and <laughs> We don't know what she looks like in real life. Uh, she has a really big poofy tail, and that's what's important. I, that tail is is just this one of the big things. I have the weirdest goosebumps.
Okay, I'm gonna take the dog back upstairs and I'll update you whenever I get an update. <laughs> Motsi! So, I finally got the email telling me that she has been shipped. Uh, she was shipped to the main facility yesterday and she, I think it was yesterday, it was Friday. I think it was Friday. She was shipped to the main facility on Friday and she is being shipped to me starting today. I think she got to California this morning. So I'm going to be getting her maybe in a week because that's just the way it goes when you live in a different country. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. But um, she will be with me very soon and I have no idea what she looks like. I'm half excited, half terrified. I don't know what to feel. I don't know. I'm playing with my hair a lot. I don't know. You look like you were gonna poop but you didn't. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know when she's gonna get here. I don't know when they're gonna give her to me. I don't know when. I don't know what she's going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't know if I'm going to hate it. I mean, I like the picture I got, but, you know, after I asked for the fix, I don't know. She was don't bark at people. I don't know if she was fixed properly or she looks good at all. I don't know. Why are you They're all the way across. They can't. Mozi, don't yell at them. So I don't know what she looks like. I don't know anything, but I am excited because, well, it's a surprise. And I like surprises most of the time. I like this tree in the background. It looks nice. As soon as I get her, I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna have my husband record me opening her. And then we're going to do a review. My dog is weird. Okay, I'll be updating soon, I hope. I'm gonna see if I can get her sooner than the next week <laughs> or even longer. Right now, I gotta go get my dog. Okay, everybody knows what these boxes are. I got a lot of, a lot of people saying they didn't like them. A lot of furries saying they didn't like them because they didn't look correct. But I tried to make mine look like a plushie. So let's see how she came out and stuff. And stuff. I'm so good at introductions. Of course. No, these scissors are not good. I kind of I don't want to break this the, the sticker. Break it. <laughs> I'm trying. They printed out the picture. You can barely yeah, see because it's too ears. dark.
can sit. Exist. Just be. Nope. Okay. You can lie down. Use a tail. I'm trying. No, she doesn't want to stand. Wait. Wait. There. She's dead! <laughs> He's so cute! He love her! She's so cute! Mm. I'm just gonna be staring at her for like a half an hour. Okay, but can we do that off camera? Because... Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I can I'm do getting, that off camera. I'm getting tired. Okay, say thanks. Thank you, Budsies. I love her a lot. I love her so much. She's perfect. I love her. Okay. You got your things. Bye-bye. <laughs>24 hours. I never had to wait more than 24 hours to get it to get an answer. Um, and it was pretty much always from the same lady, so so she I guess she started to recognize my name every time I would send a, a question. And, and they were really polite. They were really they really they know what they're talking about. Aww. And Overall, it was a good experience, even though I got ang I got um, upset about it. But that's, that's a stupid brain being stupid, I guess. Um, I'm going to go over her and parts of her right now, and showing you just the, the quality to expect if you're going to get one for yourself. Okay, let's do this. What we're going to address is her immense size. Look, her face is bigger than my hand. Her, she is really big. She's 18 inches tall. That's their standard size. It's really big. Over here I have standard sized um, Care Bear. As you can see, she's a little, she's a little bigger than him. Let's put her feet where his feet are. See, she's bigger. She's bigger than him. So if you're going to, if you're thinking about purchasing a Budsy, the standard size is this. It's big. And it looks a lot bigger when it is in a plush um, 
design. I kind of based I based her 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 plush shape design on him. So let's let's do thing. I'm going to put a picture of the of the design that I sent them, which you've probably already seen. Um, uh, when the sneak peek feature I paid extra for, and honestly, I do recommend it. Um, it's not what you expect. You don't get work in progress. You get a picture of the finished plush and you get to change something that may, doesn't make you happy. Um, I wasn't 100% sure about the, the hair poof, but I had put that on the design because I thought it was cute and I wasn't sure about it, but they had made her ears smaller than this and the thing about Kira is that she has really really big ears so I asked them I said I said to myself which is more important her hair or her ears her ears are a lot more important she needs to be able to to hide her face with her ears she so I asked them make her ears bigger and her eyebrows were red I told them to change them to pink because she has pink hair even though this poof is blue it's part of her 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 stripe um so they changed her eyebrows i had to send two emails about her eyebrows one telling them change her eyebrows and make her ears bigger when i got the 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 sneak peek and and then when they said okay we'll change the eyes and the ears and i had to send another email saying no not her eyes her ear her eyebrows and the same day, they sent me another email. It's like, okay, we, we got it. We, eyebrows, not eyes. <laughs> so it was like, ah! Almost had a panic attack there. I did. I had a small one. But, you know. Um, let's turn her around so you can see the rest of her head. Uh, her head shape. She's got a little bit of flat nose. It's very, it's very bare. Very bearish. Um... Uh, she kind of looks like a pit bull, and I like that. It looks really cute. Um, her cheeks are pointy, and and they stop here just the way I like her. And then we got her her back stripe, which is nice and thin. It's not insanely um, huge. It's not. It's it's sewed right on. It's not um, sewed into part of 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 the main fabric, which is interesting. An interesting choice. Um, her ears are huge. Her ears are huge and they match, which is perfect. They're symmetrical and that's great. Um, we're gonna go down slowly. We have her arms. Her arms are a little long, but that's okay. I, I put her arms down and they go to a good place. Um, they're a little thin, like my husband talked that he would have preferred to, for her to have a little fat arms, but I kind of like her having these because then I can grab her and hold her and she's got a naked neck. She's supposed to have a uh, chest fur, but I, I didn't put that into her design because I thought that would be a little much that she would have had this giant poof. So eventually I'll probably make a, ch a chest fur that'll detach and attach for whenever I want her to be displayed or something. Um, her paws are really cute. They're soft paws. Her, f the, this fabric is so soft. It's so soft. It's softer than, it's not, not plush. It's smooth. I'm not sure what fabric it is, but it's really soft. It's really smooth. Um, they kind of embroidered the lines on her arm, arm sleeves. And now we go down and she's got a nice round belly. Round belly! She's around. And her butt, her butt marking, which is the most important marking on her body, is butt. The paw print on her butt. With one, two, three, f whoops. One, two, three, four, five fingers and her leggies 
My little stubby legs are so cute. Look at her paws. Look at them. I, I told them that I wanted her paw, her feet to be like a um, like the the feet on on Care Bears. Whoops, on Care Bears. And they made her like stiff. I asked. The, I said I wanted her to be able to stand on her own. And they, they did. They made her legs nice and and open. And she can stand. I, I still haven't quite grabbed the trick of making her stand, but she can do it. I've done it like like two times. My husband did it three times. I'm angry at him because he was able to do it more than me. Um, she has a heart paw pad. Oops, hair. And, and her uh, normal paw pads. She got good sewing, machine sewn. And, and she's got toes and the, this hair though and it kind of got her these paws here got a little cut off but eh, that's that's a detail and then we got her giant tail I drew a giant tail and they gave me a ginormous tail I love this tail so much and this here, I think it is, yeah, these are sewn, this is sewn together. So, they, look at this, look at this, it kind of looks like a penis, but don't look at that. <laughs> like, overall, I'm so happy with her, I love her. Hey, look, she's got... I wonder what that holds. But I love the quality. I love the way she looks. I love her cheekies. I love her face. I, I'm bad at holding the camera and touching her at the same time. Wait, she's the perfect size for me. I love her so much. I'm so glad I bought her. I am so happy with this. I'm so happy. Like I, I, I don't sound happy, but, but I am, I am so happy that I can't even show how happy I am. There's no facial expression on the planet that can possibly express how I feel to have her with me right now. There's none except for maybe tears. Let's flip this camera over. So overall, I would highly recommend getting a Budsy plush of your fursona. It's an amazing experience. It's a great quality plush. If I would rather you go to an in fandom maker, but if you want something that is from a bigger company, if you don't if you're not 100% confident in an individual, you can, you have this custom option. She was $89 plus tax plus shipping and I paid for the, 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 the sneak peek. So it came to a total of around $120 and I mean, She's freaking huge. She's ginormous. She's exactly what I wanted. If you want to have a plushie that looks like a you draw, I recommend a Budsy. But you have to design it like a plush. You can't because I noticed that anyone who sent a picture of their character a normal picture, just the standard image, it usually didn't, it usually wasn't satisfactory because they try really hard to make the plush look like the image that you send and not all images translate well into plushies. Um, if I could make her again, I probably would shorten her arms, uh, add her 
her chest fur, even though I kind of like that she's naked. Like, I, I'm probably gonna make her some, some outfits and put her in clothes and carry her around with me when I'm feeling sad. I'm probably gonna get one of those, uh, <laughs> those uh, backpacks that has a space for uh, a plushie and I'm just gonna have her hanging onto my back. Or something. I'll figure, I'll figure something out because I, I do want to carry her around. Especially if I go to fair meets, I want to take her with me. If I go to play D&D, she's going to be coming with me. Um, uh, there's one thing I didn't ask. I'm going to send an email about it uh, today or tomorrow about how to wash her. Because she's, as you can see, she's mostly yellow and white. So I think you can machine wash them, but I'm not sure. Um, they're not leaving a message. Uh, but uh, I'm going to ask if they're machine washable. I'm sure they are because they are um, high quality plushies. And if not, you probably just have to do the standard, like just clean the surface with a rag or a sponge. I, I think I washed this guy in the washing machine. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but that's what I do. He goes into the washing machine. Um, I haven't washed him in a while because I don't have the, the bag that you put delicates in. And that's usually where I put uh, the plushies that I actually care about. I need to buy some of those and I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it yet. And if she is machine washable, she's going to go into one of those too because I don't want... Her eyes are 100 are all completely embroidered except for this white part. Oh, fall on focus. Focus on her eye. It's, it's semi-embroidered. This black part is... Oh, it's fabric. It's all fabric. But I, I don't want her... Her eyes to get damaged or her eyebrows to get damaged. She, like, it's mostly to protect her face. I don't want anything to happen to her face. I have the pop socket on the back and I'm not using it. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna send an email and ask about washing her and if she, if I need um, anything specific. Um, it's likely that they'll say I need to use, sorry about moving the phone so much, my arm is tired. They'll probably say something about having to use wool light or um, a gentle soap, um, which is probably the way that I would go about washing her anyway. Uh, washing her by hand is probably the best option. Like, I don't want to, I don't want her to get damaged too fast. I just hope she did not that she doesn't like fall in a puddle of mud or something. That would be devastating. But um, I'm really, really happy with her. I think she's like I I couldn't possibly be happier right now. This is like the best decision I've made all year. I, I, I sincerely want to thank Budsies for being so responsive, for creating this plushie so perfectly, for existing in the first place. They, they gave me a way to make my design into a plushie that I adore, that I love probably more than I should love anything. She's. She's perfect. I, I love her so much. And, and I want... There, there isn't enough... There aren't enough words to thank Budsies for making her as perfect as she is. I honestly thought I was going to cry when I opened the box, but I didn't because I was really tired and it was really hot, but... I, I did tear up a little bit. I, she's just perfect. She's 
She's beautiful. I love her so much. I'm just starting to babble now, but um, I want to thank Cavix for basically pushing me to go to actually get her, and and I want to thank all the people who wrote reviews about Budsies and and basically um, gave me the tools to know what not to do and what had to be done to get her as perfect as she is. Thank you everybody so much. Budsies, I thank you the most and I hope that anything that I said before um, didn't insult you or anything. But I am really happy about your communication and your product and I will be recommending Budsies to anyone. If anybody wants to have a Budsie that looks like this or slightly edited, I'm going to be selling the ref sheets for these guys for this shape. So that's going to be happening. I'll see if anybody wants one and thank you again Budsies. I am really grateful that you guys exist and I hope many more people come to you for their custom creature needs. Bye and thank you for watching this probably really long video which I have to edit now. Bye.